So once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year where NBA 2K is dropping mad information. And make sure y'all keep keep it locked to this channel, man, because we're going to get all the information. We're going to have everything for y'all. As soon as something drops, we're going to be dropping videos for y'all and that good stuff, man. But one thing I want to do is warn you guys. The Czar, one of my guys, man, he says, look, don't break the embargo trying to be first, man. Listen. He is oh so right. And then right behind that, man, we got this information for you guys, bro. It just says, look, these are the embargo dates. Here it is right here so you know when you should be ex not only be expecting information from the people, but at the same time, when you can drop it yourself and go behind them and do it. September 7th, I mean, September 5th, 5th at uh, 7 a.m., they're going to drop Jordan Challenge stuff. September 6th, 12 p.m., all of these are Pacific time. It's going to be My Player Builder, Tester, all that good stuff tomorrow. Exclusive interview with T. Mills on that tomorrow. The 8th, 5 a.m. Pacific time, so 8 a.m. Uh, here, you know, you got the, the Jordan challenge remaining, and uh, you know, then after that, bro, uh, I think they're gonna be dropping all the other stuff. So, that lets you know right there how serious they are. I'm telling you, the people that I've spoken to that have gone to the event and done all that good stuff, bro, they are telling, listen to me. If you drop something before it, like uh, I think what y'all might say, if you drop, if you got the information, or even if somebody's giving you the information, if you drop it before, 2K is going to come through and clip your It's just that simple. It's nothing else to it. I can't, I don't know if I can make it any plainer or any stuff like that. So just make sure that you're being very careful with the information. Anything that's out there is normally free game and free, um, free reign, free information and stuff like that. Like Bruce said, I don't know what they would do to TikTok, but on, on YouTube, we know a thousand percent they're going to clip your it just is what it is. So make sure y'all follow those guidelines and stuff like that. I think the only people really that's out there that's got that stuff is going to be the people that went. But I'm sure there's some people that have some side information or whatever like that. And, you know, hey, I just want y'all to be aware. It's better, better safe than sorry. Up next, man, check it out. We got the boy Mike Wong, man. And uh, Ash, my, this is my guy, Ash Samurai, man. He said, John Slay and Acrobat still in the game or is it in Master? And he says, those are both still in the game. And then we got Reed. He says, is Teardropper, is the Teardropper badge? Uh, fused with another one. Also, he says Teardropper has been rolled up into Giant Slayer. So that's good to know, man. I think that a lot of the stuff that they're doing as far as the consolidation of badges and getting this stuff together, it just makes the game a lot better, a lot more straightforward. And uh, if you know, I mean, I've heard a lot of stuff about how things are. It'll make a lot more sense once once we are get we get the build of information and uh we are able to be told more so you know it's, it's one of those things where there's a method to 2k's madness i just hope it's just not too much madness to the method to the methodology or what have you up next bro mike mike's talking again and he says to unlock jump shots uh that need a 96 three-pointer does the mid-range matter we already knew about this man um and then he uh then someone else said so they they replied to that string and they just said what build do you expect to do well early and he just says uh early will usually favor bigs lots of bricks are gonna go up which means lots of easy boards and putbacks but once people get some reps i mean get some reps in and they're raising badges up it'll be it'll uh, even out pretty quickly slasher should be good all year though and that's how it is every year man if you're a slasher you're always gonna be good you're always gonna be hooping it's never it's never gonna be a bad time for a slasher but if you're in a team game you can limit your team like a slasher gonna always be able to get his buckets right he'll always be able to get his buckets but sometimes having a slasher on your team can limit the team as far as what the uh, point guard wants to do like brute he liked to spread the floor. He liked to ISO. He wouldn't be really able to ISO if I was a slasher too because somebody can hang off me. So when you guys are making slashers, be mindful of that, man, because I'm telling you, you could you could hamper your team and you could really just make it so like like your point guard really can't do anything because the center's just going to sit paint and they're going to send the guy, they're going to send the other guard to your guy and then that's why it's going to happen. So he's going to be playing two on one more or less the whole game. Uh, if you're not the guy with the ball, and you're a slasher, it's gonna be extremely difficult because Brute really is a slasher. He's just a catfish slasher. A lot of people think that he's, that, you know, he's some type of play shot or something. No, nah, he's a slasher, bro. He got like an 83 ball or something like that. What's making him hit the shots is what I got. Is my uh, my floor general was making him hit them shots, baby. But you know it is what it is, man. All right, next up, Mike says, Mike comes through with some more info, man. And uh, this is just one that somebody just really asked, what about free throws? Will it be harder? this 2k and he says free throws are more skill based so you might have to go up to 70 with skill um rather than 
you might have to go up to 70 with skill with, with the uh with the free throws this year rather than just going what what we've been going 60 I always go 70, but uh, Brute be like, bro, why are you putting that extra on your free throw? You can just go 60 and you're going to hit most of them and stuff like that. So, but if it's more skill based, does that mean that we could actually go lower? I don't exactly know, but we're going to see. And uh, hey, before we continue with the video, man, make sure y'all hit this video with a like. Hey, we got this merch in the store, man. So check this out, man. It's the Breeze Tees uh, store. Go over there. Link down in the description. This is that uh, Goku Saiyan shirt, uh, you know, with uh, Adidas feel to it this joint is fire i love it it's like 12 bucks in the store man like i said link down in the description and make sure y'all hit the video with a like man because a lot of people have been asking me why you not on the uh on the uh list for you know the the, the tiered list when well, somebody did a tiered list and they were like uh you you you're not on the list jay you should be on the list i'm never gonna be on no list like that because y'all don't like the video it is what it is man but you know hey y'all do what y'all do and then i'm gonna do what i do but listen like I said, man, so just make sure y'all like the video, man, because every time y'all like the video, it helps us push forward and more people get to see it. Uh, up next, man, we got my boy T. Misley, man, because this is something that I, we, we're going to segue in and we're going to talk about this and then we're just going to go with this. But he's got something to tell y'all. T played the game early, and as you can see, I played NBA 2K23 early, my honest opinion. He has played the game. He's got, he, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the best players out there. He's He's got the dribbling. He does everything, and this is what he's saying right here. And the biggest thing I can tell y'all is this game is different. This game is different. Hey, and that's the, and that's what he got to tell y'all, man. Listen, the, if you want to see the rest of the video and hear his take on the stuff and all that, obviously he's, you know what I'm talking about. Obviously he didn't, we, me and him then chopped it up, and, and you know he's talking about how it's different and stuff like that, man. He just said it's different. He can't give me no specifics because he can't give me anything until tomorrow. And it can, hey, don't ain't it crazy when your homeboy like he can't tell you nothing because because of how the thing is. But what what he can do is he can tell you guys what's going on, and he can tell you what he can tell you. I can't really tell you anything because I don't know anything because he hadn't told me anything. Everything I'm knowing right now is from his video. He's telling you a lot of stuff in that video. Go over there, check it out. And then, like I said, you should be seeing later on today the Jordan challenges and stuff like that uh, based off of him. But me talking about that, man, I, I'm just talking about how the game is different and how it is, all that good stuff. I don't know how the public is gonna receive it because you know the boy Joe knows he dropped this right here and uh you know it just says it's this is NBA 2K uh, leaks and intel he's just talking about some dribble gameplay from Joe knows let's listen to what Joe has to say explosive about it. movement you do it's gonna take an adrenaline meter so you see every explosive behind the back that I do I lose it and look at how I move once I lose those adrenaline meters you are slow as a snail now I'm blinking and I have no any explosive just, just watch movement it one more time. you do, it's going to take an adrenaline meter. So you see every explosive behind the back that I do, I lose it. And look at how I move once I lose those adrenaline meters. So more or less what he's saying is anything that he's doing as far as making a move toward the basket, right? Or exploding out of anything, it's going to take an adrenaline bar. So that means you're going to have to be very, very judicious this year with how you how you proceed uh, with the game. It's not going to be any of that dribbling, uh, just dribble, dribble, spam, dribbling. It's not going to be any of that stuff where people just do what they want to, go back and forth and all that. Like I said, I see a lot of players that might have some issues. My guys, I think they're going to be fine. I think Brute, uh, Anon, uh, you know, everybody going to be fine, but a lot of people are going to have an issue with the game, and that's why the, that's why the Czar is telling you straight up, bro, don't be afraid of an adjustment period when you first get the game. It's natural to want to play like 2k22 but it's not that game don't expect to be great immediately let it breathe let it uh let it in i mean let it breathe or what have you more or less what he's saying is bro don't get out there day one and just think you're gonna it's the, the game is the game and so you know that boy jay easy aka fresh from the barber so i really gotta change that twitter picture man i don't had dress three years but he says i hear what you're saying so but i hope that they don't i hope they didn't go too far away from center meaning too far away from what makes 2K 2K. I'll adjust either way, but this community is so fickle, they'll threaten to stop playing the game if the scoreboard is different. Hey, and I'm not gonna lie, and so a couple of my people says, here's my issue. If you make a legitimate sim build uh, day one, that will be good under the, under the construct of two, 2K 23 lunch, 
they then they patch or buff shooting or the mechanics that are hard based um, that are hard based on everything that are uh, that they're saying. I just wasted fifty bucks making my bill obsolete. And I feel like yeah, you you do have a valid point, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think that anything that you make day one is gonna be good. But that's why your very first bill should be a very balanced bill. I was able to play with my whole my first bill the entire year. The only thing I had to change, I made another build as soon as I got up there because. Uh, my block, I wanted my block to be a little bit higher because chase downs were in the game. But later on, chase downs weren't even in the game, bro. They like they literally just took them out. So it's like I wasted money by going to make another bill that, that had a little bit higher block or whatever. So you know it is what it is. That first bill is gonna be an experimental bill. Don't expect to play on that um all year. And then uh then Ghost says, for me, it's not the scoreboard, it's different. If if offense can glitch through my body and not lose the ball when I read when I read their next move and beat me to the spot, I won't be done. I won't be done with 2K just 2K online. Why pay money to build? Why pay money for a bill that gets glitched through like Casper? You feel me? And I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel you because that's something that I talked about literally all year. I talked about how. It was not, it, it just made no sense that I could be standing on the spot, beat you to the spot, and do all of this stuff, man, and then, and and whatever happened, you you just run straight through my body, and then, you know, they just bullet their way through your body, more or less, uh, like we were talking about, we, we talked about that a few videos ago. I can't stand that, man. That's something that I just can't, I can't deal with. But at the same time, I understand that they want to change the game, but I just hope that I hope that number one of the community gives it a chance, but I hope that it's not something where they're trying to say, give it a chance, but this ain't, do you know what I'm saying? Like, like this ain't chess. Like we've been playing checkers with 2K for the last five years. And instead of, you know, now we're playing Chinese checkers, which is still checkers. Y'all got it. And it looks still like it's checkers, but it's really chess. You understand what I'm saying? I hope they didn't go too far away from center with the changes. I'm glad with the changes. I welcome the changes. But for me, I want the I, I'm more interested in the longevity of the 2K community and the prosper and, and, and how the 2K community can prosper more than I'm worried about being good at the game itself and being better at people so I can beat bombs all day and make my channel look good and make it look like I'm the best player in the world so I can get monetary value. Now, I mean, it, that is important. But I'm still I'm like, I'm a basketball head. This is the only basketball game we got. So I just want the basketball game to be good. I want the game to be good. And I want the game to have life more than I want to make money off of the game. If that makes sense. Like I, I, I know, I know that it is counterintuitive because I'm a content creator, but I feel like if the game is good and it's something that people want to play, then the content creation will follow by itself. So like, like I said, man, more than want to be good and, and just look like I'm better than somebody like how this dude is just left, right, or whatever. I just want to be, I want, I want to have a good game that is solid and that people enjoy playing. And I feel like if we get that, everything will take care of itself. So I just hope they didn't go too far away from center and make it. And it's really just reskinned live instead of it being uh, 2K, if that makes sense. I don't want it to be 2K in live. I mean, live in 2K skin. I want it to be nba 2k but anyway man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section hopefully you understood what i was saying if you rock with me boy you rock with me if not hey you know hey hit the dislike button but whatever you do busy yourself play up busy yourself and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time Till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, please.